welcome to the stream. We're gonna try something a little bit different. I've done some different screens tonight. So uh, you're gonna have to wait for the heist. I'm not turning it on yet till I'm done. So this is, I'm trying something new. This is a pre-live screen so I can chat with you guys just for a couple of minutes before I do the intro and blah, blah, blah. So tonight on tonight's stream, uh, we're gonna do the feed lots again. Uh, I got them mostly fed in bed. I'll show you, I got some working doors on them. I got some other stuff. I fixed the, the other building I couldn't dump straw and I can now dump straw on it, but I realized I don't want to dump straw on it. Um, but I made a, I had to make it into commodity shit. I don't know what was going on, but, uh, you know, it's just a pretty, <laughs> I'll get to you guys in a second here, but I, I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm trying different stuff in the stream. I'm going to talk to you guys here and, uh, then we'll get started and I'll do the intro. I'm just, and I'm trying to do, I added transitions in because apparently that's what the pros are supposed to do. So, uh. Who do we got here? Zachariah, Kyle, how you guys doing? No Name High, how you doing? Matthew, Westeros, Trevor, Ryan, NASCAR, Michael, thanks for that, man. Appreciate it. So, um, like I said, we're going to do the feedlot. Uh, there is seed production out now. There is fertilizer production, so I'm going to make a seed plant. So we're going to have a seed plant on this map. Not yet. I haven't I haven't done any work on it yet. Whoever whoever put it out with the script, the buildings are god all like I it's not for me, it's like an arcade style building. So I'm gonna make kind of what I had back in seventeen. Um the dairy. There is a TMR production out, so I'm gonna make a wicked kind of setup for the dairy that's gonna be over at the John Deere farm. So I'm gonna make a pretty sweet setup where I can kind of have all my commodity stuff there and throw it in the TMR and it will all mix and then rather than having silos, we'll we'll figure something out. I got some stuff from seventeen I can probably bring over, so that's the plan for that so today we're just going to work a little bit more here get some crop production and uh, yeah so uh we'll roll the intro and i'll be right back guys all right guys we're back again. Let me get the chat butt on, and we should be good to... You guys didn't notice I did shave. <laughs> Had a little, uh... My birthday supper, I wanted to shave. I kind of... I was getting a little... It's getting a little thick, so... Hey, Andrew, how you doing, man? Get chat bot rolling here. We'll get our first heist going. I did... Let me know if you guys like the, the text. I did change the colors up. I kind of thought I liked the gray a little bit better. But just trying to... I spent a lot of time last night just kind of thinking around with everything. And Indiana, how you doing, man? Get some music going. There you go. Chatbot's on, so you should be able to do a heist now, guys. Let's get that heist going. And yeah, got here. Oh. My volume down. We'll get some music going again. All right. How's everyone tonight? How's everyone doing? So, what we got going here? I uh, I don't know if these pens ever had a working door on them. When I did my edit to it, I didn't have a working door, so maybe I screwed something up. So I had to go and make one. So. So this one now opens. <clears throat> Smack the cow in the face. So we got straw in here. And here's my manure. Manure piles right kind of over in the middle here. So this is where the manure pile manure pile will be. So jeez, this is How about the two percent? That's pretty loud for two percent. But uh yeah, so we got the manure pile there. So yeah, it's uh, I do have oh, oh they do spill food. Darn it! Well, guess we'll have to clean that up too. What time is it for me? It is six nineteen. Oh, just around supper time for me. So we got all our straw bales ground up here. I did that off camera. I kind of wanted to clean all that mess up. Worked really well, though. Uh, 
All right, this better be a good heist for once. Come on, heist, be a good one. <clears throat> I think you guys broke it again. <clears throat> you guys broke chatbot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's doing, Kyle, so. Did you uh, see your enemies, um <coughs> Shed got released uh, like 20 minutes ago? I'm sure you'd be happy about that. <clears throat> Hoop Barn is out. So yeah, I decided to put all the straw in this silo. But I did go and make... Because whatever reason, I went in the XML of the... The farm pack, and I don't know why this shed is a silage pit. I could find it in the XML anywhere, so I don't know how they've made it a, a silage pit. Yeah, he released his two commodity sheds and uh, his uh, cattle shed or whatever. Not the not the mono not the mono slope though. Sorry, I'm saying the wrong thing. His uh, hook barn. We're gonna p probably pick this up, put it in the silo as well. I think, but. Thinking is the plan. Yeah, I changed it to commodity too. Cause did you change it out of the out of the file though? Like I had to completely take it out of that file to make it a commodity shed. Cause there was nowhere in the XML or the I3D that made it uh, a silage pit. So I have no idea how those guys added that in there. Unless it's in the, you know down in the user attributes in the i3d but even in giants in the attributes there was nothing so i i just took it out and made it a commodity shit it was the only way i could do it yeah but what did you change because i compared the xml and it was the same as like i compared it to random's commodity shit and they were they had the same stuff in there i didn't notice anything different in the xml at all it had a little more like pile stuff in there because it has separate walls and stuff but I didn't see anything that made it a silage pit but I was on the number three one maybe somewhere that was in the first or second one I don't know hard to say I guess um... let's see get this guy parked in here <clears throat> He released the updated trailer. Uh, he released two commodity sheds and the hoop barn, so. Does that answer your question? With all the viewers, likes on my Facebook, subs, and uh, followers. Heh, <laughs> gotcha you there, bitch. Oh, yeah, Pat's trying to be a bitch. Not surprised. <laughs> It was the year you were born. You're freaking young, Declan. You need to leave. You're not 18. You're not supposed to be watching this. I literally set my stream to be 18 and over. Yeah. Ooh. I don't want to get in trouble. Your barns are superior. You have fans that move. My barn is superior because it doesn't need fans. It's got curtains. It's got that natural airflow. <laughs> exactly. It had my barn has a toilet. Your barn doesn't have a fucking toilet, Brad. <laughs> Need that. Yep. Suck on that. VR. Uh. You know, bitch. You kind of are though, Declan. To be fair, things are getting intense over there. <laughs> you pissing shit in the manure pile. No, we got money here, man. So I give my employees all the luxuries. It's even a heated toilet, man. Oh, damn. See, I put a bidet in it, too. I'm on my way. So you just <laughs> wash your asshole instead of being, like, abrasive on it with the TP. Because naturally, all the all the dairies, they only have one ply. So I, I, yeah, I give them a bidet, man. I like a bidet. Right, it's nice. It does have a toilet in a pet. It's got a bathroom. It's got the sink, mirror, and everything. It's got a little office in it. Yeah, download and you'll find out. It's got everything. Even the curtain races up and down, man. Lights you can turn on and off. 
So you can take a shit after pulling titties, exactly! <laughs> after you're done picking stones and pulling teats. Better combo. There's even a refrigerator, alright? I stole that from that uh, one map from 17, that organ map. That really good one everyone was playing. Oh, no, Lone Oak? Lone Oak, yeah, I stole like, several objects from that. Such a good map. Oh, and I stole some stuff from Cole, too. <laughs> Does my a lifestyle roommate have every day? Probably. Likely. What's that, Trevor? You joined a very funny time. Alright, so we did feed the cows. I, I still have to work on this mixture. I still messed something up because I had unlimited TMR. So my cattle are fully fed. Like, you look at the cattle here. We're like we're good for days. Like look at these guys, 225,000 liters. I need to change that because 225,000 liters and this thing only does 30 at a time. You know how many loads that is? Like six or seven loads each pen. I'm not doing that. So I have no idea, underdogs. I'm not misfits, so can't tell you. So we got this guy on the mixer, and we don't need to feed cattle. We do need to give him a little bit more water. And then we need to, actually, we could speed up time and get some crop growing. That's what we could do. Plant growth on, slow. Uh, I'll go with normal. Go 5x. I need to get some crop going on. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm not sure if I'll do that tonight if I'm going to do the seed plant or not. But it's going to be nice because then to get seed, I actually have to put crop into it. So no more of this going to town and buying it in my own crop. So looking forward to that. It'll be kind of nice. We'll see, I guess. You were the one. Oh, okay. I think I explained it in my stream before, though. You just go into a TMR mixer, and if there's one that says it takes straw or something, then just type in... Put maize in there instead. Take out the straw, put in the maize, and then for the fill types, you have to go up and add maize to the thing. That's it. You have to, you have to add corn in two spots. Didn't Random do a tutorial on that? I thought he did. Uh, saying I'm loading. Didn't you do a tutorial on how to add corn to a mixer? I thought you did. Yeah. yeah. It's in my tutorials playlist. Yeah, there you go, Westerhouse. Eh, people are asking me, and I was like, it's literally like two lines, but I was like, I'm pretty sure you did yeah. a tutorial. It's easier as fuck. Easy yeah. as fuck. I, I did it in 17, but yeah. it works for 19 the same. It's identical. And now, yeah, with what Alfalfa he's come out with is that one script that's in uh, his Peaky. You can pretty much mix anything together to make TMR or mix whatever you want, I guess. But... Oh, yeah, Kyle said it too. <laughs> Random as a tutorial. Yeah, it's I made it easy on my YouTube tutorials playlist. It's easy to find. A couple of useful things on there. Yeah. People used to ask me how to put a silage blade on, so I finally made a tutorial in 17, and I guess I gotta make one for 19, because people still ask all the time. Alright. Well, how I had one some of that was how to add the Demco tanks attached to joint in, like, 15, and that was the exact same thing as adding a yeah. freaking blade. It's just, like, one line and then a node in G. <laughs> That's yeah, all it is. I mean, it got a shitload of views, because a lot of kids just don't know how to do it. Yeah. So, well, I, mean, I some... made me some money. Sometimes people just need a visual aid. Yeah, it does help. When you don't know really at all what's going on, it helps. Yeah. Two lines, but TPF messed it up the other day. You did? You messed it up, TPF? Yeah, because I, I added it to the fill types, and then down below where you put the percentage, you have to put, you know, maze, and then I didn't scroll over to the right, then I had to put it in a third time for the 19. I guess there's three spots oh. you got to put it in. Oh. So I was in the game and I was like, hmm, 
It doesn't look right. For I got it. I got it now. It's working. Except for whatever reason, I get a limited TMR, so I still something's not right. But hey. Yeah, she's cow's dead, head. Pat. So <laughs> nice. Guess you can visit her at the cemetery, Pat. Is Pat visiting? My mom. Oh. I'm just kidding. She's not. <laughs> it's like, oh, Pat went there. <sighs> What's the cow pashamon? I Oh, I did I think I used a cow pashamon the other day because it's like, well, when I want to clean my feed a lot, I kind of want the cattle out of it so I can go get the manure, but... The open pasture mod has no fence, so I put it out in the middle of a... Uh, I don't know, it just looks silly, so... Well, you know, good cows don't really need fence. I mean, if you keep giving them food, they won't leave. They'll stay where the food is. That's true. That's very true. I mean, this guy, one of our neighbors, he just leaves the gate open when he goes to feed them. And... No. I don't even bother getting They just follow the mixer, and they stay there. Oh. I've seen him forget to close the gate, too. <laughs> They don't go. They don't leave. I suppose, like, our our cattle are out in the past right now, and as soon as we turn on our skid steer, because, like, that's what we're we're rolling a bunch of barley and getting them some rolled barley. Yeah. As soon as they hear that skid steer, they know that we're going to get the rolled barley, and, yeah, they come a-running oh, yeah. out to the pen. Oh, yeah. When I'm out feeding at the barns, I even I just drive by with the feed truck, and they are running to the bunk. <laughs> it's like, yes. It's like, yeah, boss, they, they might need a little bump on their ration today. Yeah. When they're laying down, that's how you know they're a good time. Yeah. Uh, hey, Jay, I suppose doing? it's different with uh, stock cattle, though. Yeah. NASCAR, my farm is around field 10. Field 9 and 10. It's like socks taking the night off. Maybe. I've seen them or heard from them. Maybe he's still eating pussy. I mean, uh, eating. Jake left to go play GTA some more. Yeah, I see that. Oh, I see Kyle, Socks yeah. Don't Sock don't show up. I'm going to start <laughs> racing instead. <laughs> That's a good plan. Fuck it. I don't need to get this harvest done. I'm not too invested in it. Yeah. You guys are pretty into racing right now, so it's good. Yeah, it's... it's Flutter and shit. Almost like a fat kid running into a candy store. It's exactly <laughs> like that. That's exactly what I like. The ration is like candy to them. Yeah. I sometimes put a little extra cake in there. It's a little extra candy. Yeah, see, I wouldn't want to do it unless I had a wheel and I just don't want to buy all that stuff, so. Oh, yeah. The keyboard would be that. shitty to play that with. I don't, you can't even play that with the keyboard. I, I, I would assume it'd be like really bloody. It's already difficult enough with a steering wheel. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they even have it compatible for no. keyboard. You have to use something with a axis input. Makes so sense. probably like a controller would work. Oh yeah, that... I suppose. I have some realistic feed amount for you. What do you mean, Optic? I just. Oh, I guess I can. If you want an actual realistic feed amount, I can do some figuring. Just gotta change it. The one on here on the feedlot that I got, it's 225,000 liters to feed 36 cattle. Like, that's outrageous. I can... I can actually give you a real-life amount in liters. For, like, head, or...? Yeah, for one head. I can I can probably do some figuring for that. For a, for a fully fat one, I'm assuming. I mean, maybe do it like a... Medium one. It's not like it's gonna change in the game. They're not actually yeah. feed it, fattening and eating more as they go. Yeah. I just two hundred some thousand liters for thirty six head. Like that's like you know three or four loads. Yeah. Like that's too much. I gotta think here. Um, I can do a little math here. Math. Hey Nicholas, how you doing, man? Let's see, it. these are a little smaller calves though, but they're getting about. Look at. People still won NASCAR, just and didn't show it. 
We didn't. So that's. They would be getting about 46 pounds. That's okay. That's okay. Per I don't day. know how I convert that to liters. Yeah, just. I got her. And... I mean, that's a completely different kind of unit of measure. <laughs> I'd have to do a little more math there at some point. Yeah, no, I suppose, you know, the mixers, I mean, they're measured in cubic feet. I could just kind of look in there and kind of see how full it is and kind of yeah. take a wild guess. Uh, what is it? So, yeah, it's got like, got a. Or I could go off the bucket loads too. I mean, that's that's cubic measurement, so. How many bucket bowls or oh, it, it'd be kind of a wild guess, I guess. Kind of a rough estimate, but I can yeah. figure it out for a more realistic. Amount. All I know is it needs to be lowered from default. Yes. Which is, I mean, I was feeding, let's see, that's how I can just do it on my sheet here. How much it, it is by default. Andrew, that's random. Uh, uh, so 68 head. They eat 650 liters per head per day. Uh, that's uh, that's almost a full mixer load for only 68 head. Oh yeah, 36. I'm looking at like three, four hundred per head. That is way too much. That should only that couldn't shouldn't even be a half a mixer load. They should only be getting not even 300 liters per head per day. Well, pretty much one mixer to load per pen would probably be good. I like that better. Yeah, I don't know optic. I don't. I was just doing a guess off of one of our pens. Um, 300 head in the pen, and we're closing in on feeding them 14,000 pounds for to last them a whole day, 24 hours. So, oh shit, am I full? Fuck. But that they're not even fully fat yet too so Honestly, actually no they're not getting that much yet let's see i can stink through the waterway there good evening aj how you doing man sorry guys i was just listening to random uh nice matt same out nicholas how you doing man all right, Pat, you go do some laundry. Can you do some laundry for me too? That'd be awesome. Get a truck with tracks and do a mudding video? Yeah, nah, I'm not, I'm not, not really into that type of stuff. I like farming like this. Yeah, so Kyle, you edited a different uh, shed than I did. Or maybe it's in there. Maybe it's in there a couple different times. Oh, yeah, see, I was in here editing this one. Is it just strictly in the sheds, too? So I did this one. I did my own. Oh, it's in here, too. I'm an idiot. I didn't even have to edit it, really. I could have just left it alone. <laughs> hey, trucker, cool. I didn't realize there was a whole different section. Oh, man. Well, I feel dumb now. Because, yeah, they're all in just the regular hall one, too. Rip. So when I was trying to edit it, I was trying to edit the one in the sheds group. That's why I didn't see anything different, but I was placing the, God, there's two of them in here. No wonder. I mean, I have to make my own. Uh, you changed a bunker. Yeah, see, I was I was in the regular shed look, going look at, and I was like, I don't see any bunker stuff in here anywhere. So I, I was confused. I was like, how? Oh man. Wow, there's, there's, so I just made a commodity shit for nothing. God darn it. Come on. We're gonna load this straw up anyway. I guess I shouldn't pick my other guy away, but. Freaking Canadians. Oh, look at Socks is here. Thought he was sleeping. What's with the Canadians? 
Nothing. Yeah, Don't nothing. worry about it. Carry on, shit. sir. Carry on, good sir. It's alright, I'll go watch your stream. I'll see what you say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't hide it. Watch me. Yeah. Um, why am I banned? No problem, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Happy yes. to share those with you guys. Alright, game is switched. You guys doing some racing? Yeah. Alright. I'll leave you guys to it. Eugene. Okay. Well, fine, I'll, I'll watch in a bit. See if I make fun of you. Probably not, but... Fine! You do you. Random's a pro already, so... I am a master, but more so with the baiting. <laughs> Aren't we all? Why is that still open? Are we all? I don't know. It's news to me. <laughs> master bait? No, no, not doing that. <laughs> Dark mode. All right. Is that fun? All right, guys. We are back in my chat since they're doing some racing, so I'll, let, I'll leave them be so they don't gotta leave me. Uh, the pack for that hoop shit is not the Hoff pack. It is in the Forgotten Plants on LS Mod Company. Uh, I was talking with uh, Sinister Socks and Random Sparks. But uh, they're going to do some racing, so um, I'm out of there. Generally, we don't like to be in stream when other people are in play all playing different games. It just, you know, doesn't work out. So. Unless we're playing the same game. I jumped in because I seen Random was playing Varmin, so... Kind of open to play with them on the server a bit, but it doesn't seem like anybody really wants to play. Mind you, they're on Midwest on that one, but... One of these days I'll be back playing with them, I guess, doing some MP most likely. Just not sure when. You got yours in the Hoff pack? So... Okay. This is from LS Mod Company. Okay, the other one might be the Hoff pack. You're right. We'll look at it here. No, this is LS Mod Company too. I don't have that in the Hoff Pack anywhere. But I only have the US one. There is also a, like a Euro version Hoff Pack. I don't have that one. But I did not I did not get this uh, hoop shed in the Hoff Pack. GSI bin setup I made? Well, there's a big like grain system out there. All you guys would have to do is delete some bins and I didn't really do anything. Mind you, I guess it did add Random's bin, which is already public, so... If I could legit fine-tune it a little more and make it a little more... Maybe like a feed mill, then maybe I would, but... Technically not really a feed mill, it's just like a storage and then for my corn, but... You have the Eurohoff? Okay, that's why. I don't have the Eurohoff, so... I guess it's in the Eurohoff pack, too. Hey, Mike, how you doing, man? So, once we get this picked up, then we're hopefully going to go do some stuff with our crops if they're growing. I did buy this crop beside us, though. And sugar beets. I don't want to do sugar beets, really, at all. Like, sugar beets by myself at Giant Field, I'd be in it forever. Maybe I should build my farmhouse. Just think maybe that'd be a good idea, but we'll see. We'll get this all put away, and then uh, we'll be doing some silage at some point, but I actually know what, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. You know what I forgot? Oh, God. I'm an idiot. I forgot. Wet, very wet. Oh, yeah, same here, man. Same here. I need to go finish planting with that drill. Damn it. All right, screw this. We're going map. 
Darn it, it started growing because I forgot. Oh, I guess it hasn't yet. Okay. We gotta do this first, guys. I gotta get this done. If I get this done, then we're 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 set. Then we can fast forward time. I completely forgot about this field. I don't know why, but I did. We still got a lot of snow. I I kind of think by the end of the week we might be able to go, but like today it snowed some more and rained, and it's supposed to rain and like lightly snow all week. So I don't know if we're gonna be seeding till next week. So it's a little depressing, but I did get my drone today. Or did I turn my chair? Can you see that box? Box behind me over here. That my drone's in that box. Would you guys like to see a drone unboxing video? Would you? If you guys like to see that, I potentially could do one. Because it came with a whole bunch of stuff. I'll tell you where I got it. I mean, it's in Canada, so it's not likely you guys could buy it from the same place. But uh, at least you get to see the unboxing anyway. And Check it out. You want to see an unboxing? Sure. I'll do that later tonight or tomorrow. It sounds like I did find uh, somebody that I play C's with said he he likes editing videos or said he might want to edit some videos and he said he'd, he'd take a crack at editing some of my footage for me and do a video and I said okay like are you sure like it's farming he's not a farmer at all I was like are you sure you're not gonna get bored like it's all farming so we'll see but I would definitely pay him for his time but uh, I want to see what he can do and if he can put some really cool uh, videos together with all my footage I give him, then I, you know, I get him to do all my videos. It'd be nice. It'd save me time. I can take the footage. I've got a bunch of silly moments that I've taken. You know, me lip syncing to some music in my truck. I mean, some pretty weird, weird music, but I think it's hilarious. So, I mean, my lip syncing's awful. But, uh, he could put some videos together. I would. I would, that'd be awesome. Because the less editing I have to do would be the better. I'd have more time to give you guys more content. If all I gotta do is film it and send him the, the footage, man, I could easily, easily do that. But we'll see. Hey, Lane, how you doing, man? LS19 building pack? I, I think so. I'm not sure. That sucks. I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's still pretty wet here, so I, we could be in the same boat, but... We've, I haven't started seeding until the middle of May before, so it's not the end of the world. If it's the end of May and we still haven't started seeding, then I'm going to worry because then we start, like I said, we don't, we no longer get insurance for quality and they start limit, limiting us to what we can seed. So if we bought a bunch of seed already, well, we have all our seed already, so they say, hey, you can't plant that, it's too late to plant it, we're screwed, so... We are trying to plant a lot of corn, like, the corn needs to be going in, like, now, like... May 1st is, you know, last year we were like May 15th when it went in and it didn't quite turn out, so it'd be nice to get it in sooner than that, but. We'll just get this field seeded and then I can <clears throat> fast forward the time. And we can get some crop growth, we can get some spraying going. Because the feedlot is pretty much done for now. Like, the cattle are fed and ready. We just got to fast forward time to get some newer. Um, I do have a pasture that I put down. I mean, I, I don't really like the look of it. It's kind of silly, but... Oh, did you, Andrew? Yeah, it's... That sucks, but hey, happens, right? I did put down an open pasture for the cattle. Man, this planter goes down really slow. So that when I go to clean the manure out of the cattle pen, <coughs> I can have no cattle in there. So I have to haul them out to the pasture, and then uh, we can clean the pens. But I'm assuming we're not going to be doing that till fall time. Like, we'll go through all the spraying and the combining here. By that time, we should have a fair bit of manure in the pens. If not, I'm going to go in and ramp it up even more. Like, the cattle breeds is in here, so it should be fairly high, but I'll go edit it even more if I have to, so... 
So that's something I'll probably end up doing. Yeah, we can uh, do some manure hauling and we'll see anyway, but we'll see what happens, how it goes and, you know, all that good stuff. I'll get to that section. You boys like Mexico? Yeah! Lane, thank you very much for the $50. Super chat, man. Thanks a lot. You didn't have to do that, man, but I appreciate that. I don't think I've ever got that much from me before. I think the most I ever got was like 10 or 15, but you know what, man? I, I appreciate that. And thank you very much. Good seeing you, too. I mean, every time I see you, you bring money, so... <laughs> You got a good track record. <laughs> Just like real life. Hey, stuff happens. Yeah. Lane's the man for tonight, guys. There he is up there on for the super chat. Super chat of the night. Hey, man. I You know what? I That's fine with me. If you can't make it to streams, that's cool. But I, uh, de I definitely appreciate it, so... We've had some good streams today. We've had some. We've had a lot of. We had a lot of good people in here. I mean, I don't think we've really had anybody that's caused too much trouble. So, I mean, everybody's everybody's generally pretty good, except for Trevor. You know, causes a ruckus all the time. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, Carl, you doing, man? But I definitely appreciate the super chat, man. I think it's probably the biggest super chat I ever got. Yeah, there is, Kyle, but he's not that bad. I mean, he tells a lot of fibs, but he doesn't come in and he doesn't... I guess he spams a little bit, but it's bearable. Hasn't done anything. I've had a time about a few times, but... Oh, Mike, that sucks. That's right. I guess you should have them all in by now. So what's, what's the latest you plant sugar beets then? Tomatoes, beets, and corn all at once. Damn, I'd like to see you plant tomatoes. That'd be cool. I've never seen potatoes planting. My uncle used to work on a potato farm down south. And, like, I went there once when they were doing corn, and that was pretty cool. Because, you know, I got to ride in the silage truck as he was driving along the, the silage forage or the forage harvester. But other than that, I've never really been around that stuff. So it's kind of uh, interesting. I'd like to definitely see that for sure, but... Yeah, Carl causes a ruckus, too. Oh, you left a dip in your jeans, man? Rookie move, Pat. That is a rookie move, man. That's the first thing you take out is your dip. You take it out and you put it all on your lip. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we do have a few, you know, special guys that come into our chat, but I mean... Compared to... I don't know. I'm surprised I don't see a lot of, like, body people lately. Because when we used to stream, we used to get quite a bit. But maybe they're off bothering other people right now, I guess. I don't know. Jeez, this thing lowers way too slow. Oh, they're waterproof. Gotcha. I wouldn't know. It's been a long time since I dipped. I don't think I ever had one in the wash, though. I don't think I ever had... When I smoked, I don't think I had cigarettes going through the wash, either. I definitely had money go through the wash. That sucks, but... Yeah, I think that skip was when I was combining the field, so technically that was a grassy area. So I have to go back and seed it, but I'll get her. I will get it. Is the planter going to get down in time? Come on, that was so far back. The middle of May is all right. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool, Mike, if you could. I'd like to kind of see... Is it just kind of... I guess, like, uh, tomatoes like a seed, right? Like, I planted tomatoes in the garden. It's, is it, like, similar? Like, it wouldn't be like potato where you put, like, the full spud in, right? Type thing. Ear problems. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. We could open. You could have a real mess in there.
Yeah, I'm just trying to get this field done, and then we can sim it and get back to our feedlot for a little bit. You dip your butt into cold water? I don't know, Carl. <laughs> Is that what you did back in the day? Weirdo. Hey, Mustang, I do, man. Do, do. Not you? Oh, I thought you were, I thought you were time from experience, maybe. Damn, Carl, you got some weird experiences, man. King size, Mr. Goodbar. <laughs> What's a Mr. Goodbar? Welcome to the Bert, or welcome to the Good Bert. What is that thing again? I can't remember. Can I take your order? It's on Super Troopers. Welcome to the Good Burger. I can't remember how it says, how they say it now. I should know. Just watched it the other day. Pretty sad. Approaching Nirvana's got such good music. <coughs> there we go, Thunder. Welcome to the Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. May I take your order? That's how it is. Thank you. Couldn't remember how it went. I love that. I love it. The seeds are planted in a greenhouse in March. Okay, so that kind of gets them going, right? And then you pick them up as needed, scheduled from, say, May to June 15th. Ah, okay. So do you have a planter that does it, or do you still plant them by hand? I mean, if you're doing a tomato field, I would think you'd have to have a, a big-scale planter, right? Like, you're not just going to go out there, Okay, guys, there's 40 of us. Let's all walk a line. Like, you're not going to do that, right? Like, that's... I know I'm just kind of spouting off here, but... Is it off the Good Burger movie? I thought they did that in Super Troopers when he goes to order, too. Or maybe he says a different line. But I've watched that movie, too. If we get this corn plant, then we should be good. I hit that I hit V way back before I even turned all the way around and it just went down in time. So I gotta like hit V like half light like through my mid turn. <laughs> I don't know Rail Fan and I I mean I'm struggling pretty hardcore here, so Although I just wish I just need to get dirt on this other tire. Missing a tire. Try my best, man. Never planted corn before, so. Hey, for a brand I do, man. You never heard of the Good Burger, Carl? It's a pretty old movie. I think you would have seen it. Oh, huh. Hershey bar with nuts. See, I'm not a huge fan with like chocolate nuts. I go like, oh, Henry's. I mean, I'll eat them, but like, nuts belong by themselves. Six units on it, and there's a person that sits on each unit placing. Oh, okay. Each cup is a turn. That makes sense. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I've seen things like that. Like, there's like a lettuce or like a cabbage, uh, like harvester too, and it's like people like sitting on this thing, and as they come in, they gotta sort through it. So, like, the only parts, machine parts, having a bunch of humans on it, which is. I mean, I guess how you gotta do stuff, right? Sometimes. You've never played it before? You should get in it, man. What games do you like, Rail? Like, I mean... I mean, I like Farm Simulator, but a lot of people I know don't, but... Normal nuts, no chocolate. Them. <laughs> yeah, chocolate's nasty. No, I love chocolate. Love it all. No, or just get this planted, and man, I need to start being on the John Deere farm again, but I gotta get the dairy set up. Until I get the dairy set up, I probably won't be. I still have to do spraying, obviously, but I don't care. That's pretty cool, Mike. 
a tractor you guys pull it with. FS19 is great. It's beautiful and there's so many good mods in the works that are coming. I can't wait. There's so many good things. You love chocolate nuts, old boy thunder. <laughs> chocolate covered almonds. Hundred simulator. You have a hundred enough simulators. Damn. Yeah. Well, we get this plan. We'll get some simming. I know Lane was super nice tonight. I mean, Carl, when are you gonna show some love? I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> just plugging in. I don't need anything from you guys. I'm fine just streaming and you guys watch it. That's payment enough, but I do appreciate, like, Lane, when guys want to do give a little bit. I can't stop you, unfortunately, but... the other piece that I missed but means a hundred percent I'm doing a hundred percent nice what about 110 maybe I want to do 110 percent give it a hundred ten percent I'm trying but I'm in a John Deere I can't do 110 percent Hey man, I just I was just rolling with it. I have no idea what it means. Now I do though. All right, corn is done. Well, 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 that is perfect. So we got so many planters, and this Johnny farm is so small. I gotta buy more land for these guys. They got two big corn planters and. So many John Deere tractors, crazy. <clears throat> Maybe 10,000%, I like it. I like that, uh, like 10,000%. But that hitch raise itself up. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get back to the farm. Cheers, syrup bottles clanking. Yeah. Yep. Cheers. There's a syrup bottle. I wonder how many syrup bottles you'd have to chug to be sick. Probably just one, I would think. See, this is what I was telling you guys. I just gotta change this in the XML. I forgot to do that still. So you can see the folding, it fold, the foliage folds. Folding down everything as I drive. <laughs> oh, I don't doubt it, Rail. I mean, I'm sure lots of guys have lots of John Deere's. I'm just, I'm just saying for like how small this farm is in game right now, I have a lot of, like I have too many too many things on this farm for they only have like a couple of small fields around here but when I make the dairy it's gonna be sweet that little roll through the trees is nice but I'm gonna make my own too so like look at how many like you got two eight R's well this is an 8130 like so pretty much three eight series John Deere's I mean they're all the lowest that you can get I started with all the lowest horsepowers but like two giant planters and like they barely have any lands. So I need to get them more uh need to get them more land. I mean we still got an old girl here. I need a I need a different bin system. Uh their trucks are eh, the trucks are alright, but there's not a lot going on in this farm right now. 
But like I said, once I get the dairy going, we'll get a lot going. No worries, John. John happens, man. Syrup. Oh, I don't have a command for syrup. Really should. I should do a quick little video of me chugging. Just chugging a little bit of syrup, putting it as a clip. That'd be cool. Am I going to do the Darius setup while streaming? I'm probably not going to build it while streaming because I like to take my time and I don't want to bore you guys. Because like I like to take my time and really place things and make it look good and I don't like to do it fast. And if I'm on the stream, I feel like i got to be doing stuff constantly. So I, I don't think I'll build it on stream. Technically, we can actually put drills in here. Might as well. Might as well get this guy over. Hey, Mathos, how you doing, man? I'll definitely stream on the dairy once it's done, but... I'm not even sure what I really want for buildings. Like, sometimes I'll come on and be like, hmm, I want a building here. And it's like, alright, I'll go find something and make it work. And I go find something or I slap something together with my usual style. And then I throw it together. And, uh, yeah, then I come back in the game. I don't, I'm not going to do that on the stream, of course, but... This is Farming Simulator. You guys would like to watch me build a dairy? Oh boy. That's a little nerve wracking. <laughs> you guys would all like to watch. I don't mind. You guys are all weird. If I do it though, no matter what you guys say, I'm gonna build it how I want to. You gotta remember that. I'm not gonna, that's one thing I won't ask for advice, is I'm gonna build the farm how I want to, right? So I'm gonna be playing it, streaming it. I don't wanna get bored, so I'm gonna do it how I wanna do it. You guys are more than I guess I could maybe stream that, but you guys just wanna see everything stream, don't you? They're all nuts. So we'll just fit these guys in here for now. We're not going to need them for a while. And another... I think I'm going over too much. That other shed's kind of full already, so we'll try and fit our planters in here. To me, a planter's not something you keep outside. I mean, I know some guys do, but we don't. I mean, cultivators and that kind of stuff, for sure, that stuff can go outside. We might be cutting this a little too close. I want to get it over enough so I can fit the Great Plains in, but I don't want to hit that 8R in the back. I think we're going to be just fine here. I don't think I could get any tighter. Oh, we're right against that rim. All right, we'll go back till we hit the wall, and then... That was a little tight to do that, but... Play Farming Simulator, do ya? Well, then how come you're asking what game it was? You're confusing me. What the hell, Dakota? You fell off the bin? They still let you go on your phone if you have a broken back? Well, I thought you'd be like in like a cast, so like you wouldn't even be able to move your hand. That sucks, man. What's the best place to have a farm? I don't know, John John. It's it's what you prefer, honestly. If you want to play this map for a long time, you got to do what you prefer. Because if I'm going to go and set up my farm on a place somebody else has, I'd be like, eh, I don't I don't know if I like that. Like The beauty about this map is there's so many different places. I mean, I've heard a lot of people don't like the farm setups, but that you don't have to use the farm setups that are, that are there. I mean, those are just place buildings. You don't have to, you don't have to use those. I just take the existing buildings and I add on to them because I kind of like the areas they're in, and you just add around them and incorporate them into your farm, and then you don't have to go in GE and take them out. I mean, you still keep the, the original stuff there, so that's what I do anyway. But everybody's different, so. might be too long. I might not be able to fit in here. I'm hoping I can, but... Darn it! As far as we can go, we gotta unhook the tractor. 
Well, that sucks. I thought we could get that tractor in there. Oh, well. We can stay outside for now. So close that I know what techs are. But you guys all know where the map came from, right? From Texar, CBJ. It's a good map, man. I, I just, I love playing it, so. I've been good, man. Let's say you, man. Yeah, the man's here himself. Where did I get the tanks at? You mean the 360 tanks? They are released, as far as I know. Everybody keeps asking me where to... Where, yeah, I'm playing single player. Everybody keeps asking me where uh, they should start their farm. And I tell them, I said, that's kind of up to you, right? Or, like, to, up to them to decide. And I said, the beauty about this map... Or, actually, we're just going to leave this outside. The beauty of the map is there's so many places you can build farms. Like, so many. Not many maps have, like, a lot of choices. That sucks. Go to next time. I would recommend wearing a harness. We're gonna go back over to our feed lot. Uh, we we're, we're gonna do the straw, weren't we? So we can uh, fast forward time a little bit again. We want uh, plant growth normal. We'll do we'll do fifteen. Uh, Pat SFI modding released them as far as I know. So, was it SFI? I think it was SFI. Doing good, Pitts. How you doing, Matt? Because, like I told you guys, like if you come over here, this. This part on your map will be a field, field nine, and then the only parts that are here are this shop and this house. And then none of this none of this else is here. So I mean like I took what was originally here and I built around it and I still utilize it. Like I still I, it's a good spot. It just needs, you know. I'm a, I'm a bigger farmer, so I need a bigger farm, right? So uh, you gotta tell giants to support 4x maps. <laughs> Doesn't matter how hard a mapper tries, can't go to console if Giants doesn't support 4X maps. Yeah, SFI I think did it. I know for a while, Pat, where you been? <clears throat> um, with CP course play, uh, mods that are conflicting with course play will have generally custom uh, types. So if you have the 9R, that Stefan released on custom modding, that is a custom type, and it will not work with course play as of right now, but Anthony Rourke does have a workaround. <clears throat> he put it in a comment somewhere, I can't remember what it was, but you have to go in, and with that type, you have to add a parent node, I think it's a parent node, and if you add that in, then it will work with course play, but I don't technically remember how to do that, or like, I'd have to go look again, because I did it in a couple, but... Uh, the 9R from Stefan is a custom type, and I believe Sid Modding's Combine as well does it. I think their new one is changed so that it will work with course play. And then if you don't have K-Man's updated tra or truck, his truck uh, conflicted with course play as well. So those are three mods I know of. But if they have custom types, they will conflict with course play. Generally when people say they're... Their games, they're trying to save their game when it's loading and loading and loading. If you pull up your log, you'll get Lua errors from course play and you can't save your game. And it, will, and it can generally corrupt your save game file too, so. All right, Carl, see you there, Matt. Well, Pat, I work every day. <laughs> and probably, probably longer hours than you, and I still find it. I'm just saying. I guess I maybe just know where to look, I guess. I know a lot of the... 
follow a lot of the modders pages and I have a lot of sites that I check every day just my usual just from being around in the community for so long that yeah you get used to it like if I was to go to trucks American truck sim I wouldn't know where any mods were for anything because I don't ever play the game so I would be I guess I'd be in your guys' boat. I'd be kind of like a noob at that, so. I'd have no idea where to get stuff. How many hours I get a week? You don't want to know, man. <laughs> Last week when it was nice, I was putting in like 15, 16 hour days. And that's not, that's not that long, but. Today it wasn't a bad day. I was off early. I had to go to the bank and sign some papers. See you later, Westerhouse. I had to, uh, my my mortgage for my house is up for renewal. I've only had my house for five years, and so it's time for renewal. So I had to renew it and sign some papers. And... That tanker? I honestly don't remember where it's from. Oh, uh, that's Blue Line Modding, I believe. Trim car? I think so. Yeah, that might be from Blue Line Modding. Yeah. What's funny though, Blue Line Modding, like you always see them at the beginning of like a farm simulator game, and then you, you generally never see them again. It's just like in 17, they did some stuff kind of at the beginning, and then you never see. And I mean, that's cool. I just, I just know it's like it's kind of like a trend, I guess. Mind you, I guess Zook's still around, so he's posting pictures all the time. So I guess I'm wrong. Well, we'll get this cleaned up. Wish I want to dump this here in the first place, but I wasn't sure what to do with it when I dumped it here, so. Don't know if we're going to be able to get. Hoping we can get it all, but. We might. Hopefully, we can get that stuff along the wall there. Is Hoop Barn is released? You betcha, man. I was right there when he did it. You guys can finally enjoy it. There we go. We can see. <clears throat> yeah, Joe's moving. He is in the process of moving and opening his own dental practice. So he's got a lot of stuff to do and Farm Simulator is not one of them. He pulled 24 hours, planted the yeah, I, I don't do that. I used to do, I used to do till one or two in the morning planting and then I'd go to bed, but then I was having a hard time getting up at six in the morning, only having like three hours of sleep and my dad doesn't do any of the planting. I do all the planting, so we just have one. I'm just the only operator. So I. Last year I was like seven, seven thirty. This year I'm gonna try and aim for six o'clock in the morning, right when the sun's up. And then I usually only plant till about eleven o'clock at night. But we'll see if if we get late here and we're like way behind, I might have to pull late shifts. But it's really hard for me being a single operator. I try, but. About to harvest some corn right on pits. I want to get this little bit of straw. There we go. A little bit hilly here, so I'm having a little bit of a trouble, but we'll get her. Really? Like, it just can't pick up that tiny... There we go. I was like, man, just a tiny little bit and they can't pick it up? Oh, you run two planters. Nice. Well, that'd be a little bit easier. <clears throat> I don't have that luxury. I can't. I can't go 24. I could go 24 hours once, but then I would need a. I need a little bit of a break. I wouldn't be able to go for two hours sleep and then go again. That's that's just not safe. Not safe at all. Especially pulling that giant planter down a road. It's our planter takes up the entire road. So that's something I want to do with no sleep. So 
I mean, minimal amount of sleep, sure, but no sleep, that's, that's asking for trouble. So, I think we're going to sim time here. I'm going to speed it up, get out of the night. We don't need to be in the night, really. Get some more lights around the yard too. I need I need to add some lights on the, some of these bin setups. I guess there is one on that other one. Need some add some lights to Random's barn as well, or shed I should say, a barn. I guess there is a light on that bin system, which is nice. But I need more uh, more lights around here. That's for sure. It's got some nice lights on. I like that. We get this place lit up and we'll be uh, we'll be laughing. Uh, I wouldn't say mine's all sitting. If I'm in a tractor, yeah, but I'm on the farm. I'm constantly moving, pulling wrenches, doing stuff. Definitely not sitting. That's for sure. Uh, what is our field like? Fertilized. Still just says growing. All right, we got uh, we got the first stage of growing. That's good. I like that. Guess I could use my flashlight. Man, they're still not popping up though. Where is my crop? A lot of sitting and eating and drinking. <laughs> Some days it could be. You went 36 hours straight, man. That is nuts. You want the map up for a second? Sure. See how far I have to zoom out just to fit it all in? <laughs> what do we have for the planner? We have a Brigo 62 foot 5810 O drill, and then we run a 7700 Brigo tank with uh, the conveyor auger on it, that giant massive conveyor auger. Beautiful, beautiful setup. Yo, don't worry. If you watch my videos, Andrew, you'll, I have, I'll have plenty of, in my next video that I put out with my pictures and my music, you'll see it. How do you get into field 68? Where is 68 at? 68 is over here. Well, it looks like there's a road. Road that comes in from here or the bottom. So, we'll go uh, check it out. Is FS19 almost out? Oh god, I hope so, Trevor. I can't wait any longer. True, nobody does work for so where are we on the map here we are at 79 so it looks like okay well this isn't a road is it <laughs> this is a ditch <laughs> I thought this was a road but it's not um, let's see here. Where are we at now? I don't even see myself on the map. Probably because we're off. There we are. So you want to know how to get to 68? Well, I don't know. Maybe. What game is this? I don't know, Pat. I'm, lo I'm so lost. So this is the field back here. All right. Maybe there isn't a way to get to it. Could just be back here chilling. I mean, you got the tools to make a road back here, right? Oh, you can get to it from this field here, cornfield. Uh, and you can get to it. Is this not 68? I'm at the wrong one, aren't I? Yeah, I'm at the wrong one. Okay, never mind. But listen to me. Stuck. Oh, hello. So you say it's got woods all the way around it, eh? Maybe this is a hidden secret. Oh, here we go. Look, right here. Come through here. Oh, you got like a bridge that's washed out, or that that would be like a, what do you call it, a dam or something. And right here, there you go. You gotta come through the cornfield though. 
67. That's how you get into there. There you go, man. Look at this. Little, little... Man, that's not a bridge. It's more like a... Damn, holding that water in. But here you go. Yeah, I will, Texar. So that's what you do there, my friend. Uh. Oh, well, thank you, sir. I haven't even switched to uh, your updated map, though. Does that, is that going to make a difference? Because I'm playing on single player, and I don't want to lose the farms that I've built right now. So I, I hadn't switched over to the newest version yet. But I think that's the only way to get in here, honestly. Looks like it anyway. Yeah, nothing there. A little bit of something could be there, but... Yeah, just through the water there. I'd wait, okay. So I probably need your newest version if I was to do that, right? For the bales. All right, so we're gonna go back here. Oh yeah, now we're getting crop growing. Sexy. Sexy, all right. <sighs> Bumping up the time. What are Zippo tricks? That just sounds like a waste of time, Pat. Are you gonna go do corn? I guess it depends where you live, I guess. Hey, Jerry, do man. Get two DB60s. Yeah, I didn't think to save. Like, I can transfer. I can. I think I can transfer my items, actually. Like, if I copy my items list, that would be all my placeables. Like, so I could technically put all the placeables down. I'd have to redo the ground and stuff. I should try that. Because the other day, when I was doing the feedlot pens, I couldn't I couldn't delete them out of my game because I'd messed something up. I had to go on my items list and delete them out of there. And then the new ones I put down were... I'm a waste of time, Pat? Then what are you doing here? <laughs> you must like wasting your time. I get played to play video games, Pat. Do you get played to do Zippo tricks? I didn't think so. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just like playing farm sim. It's addicting, man, I tell you. I should try that, though. I should do your new version of the map and then uh, transfer all my items. Oh, look at this. The cattle are all sleeping. Oh, my. That's cool. I never actually looked to see the cattle. I didn't know the cattle did that at night. That's awesome. A couple of them, though. Little buggers aren't sleeping. Shelby pays you? Oh man, that'd be funny if it was true, Pat, but... Fortunately, she doesn't even know who you are. Oh, that's that's harsh reality. <laughs> yeah, I never noticed that the cattle did that. Hmm. Squishing her bag, though, but... Yeah. Oh, we're getting some manure built up. Nice. Good old feedlot. How much food they got in their bunk here? Oh, we're gonna have to come clean up some of their food too. I, I'm not gonna tell you, Pat. We gotta go clean up a bit of their food though. Try and speed up time and get light out. I'll dump that when you are out. I'm not sure. What are you saying, Jared? This is part of the Hoth pack. There was a feedlot mod in there, and I've modified it a bit. I've used some uh, fence from Dyersville that C CWJ had uh, modeled, and then I used random bunks that I made the gate open and stuff. So I got kind of my own little. My own little feedlot set up here. 
They've done that since, huh? I've never noticed, to be honest. I've never really done cattle, you should know that. I've always been like a grain guy. Feedlot's actually kind of fun, so. One to ten? I'd say seven or eight, probably. Never gonna watch my stream, so I don't gotta be worried. <laughs> We'll get to about uh, dump the penta when not in tractor. Um, just have to be by a trigger, man. If you have a trigger that you can dump in. You just you can just dump and walk away. Just like grain trucks and trailers. We're saving a bunch. Okay, let's look at our cattle here. So this is 97. Why? Why are we at 97? Is that because they're cleanliness? Oh, that's why. Because they're down. Look at our feed. Like, I'm not going to have to feed them for days. Or water or straw. Oh, look at our manure, guys. 10,000 liters. Nice. Next animal in three hours. So every 19 hours, we're getting an extra one. So we'll... We'll go up with a little bit, I guess. It's kind of cool. Funny, Pat. I hope she wanted a little Mexican when she can have a bigger Canadian. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I can just dump the silage in their pen. I should be able to, but oh yeah, for sure. Oh, look, they get a little silage. Perfect. Do you have to do anything to the cow breed mod? No, I just put the cow breed mod in my folder and it uh, works. I am gonna adjust it a bit though. Because I want these guys to produce even more slurry, so I'm gonna up it, make them produce even more, because I want to have a lot of solid manure. Mind you, I do have the sprayer um, usage mod, so I could tone it down so that I could manure a whole field. Because normally in the old game, you go to put manure on, and you're like, oh, I got a lot. And it only does like half a field. And you're like, okay, well, that's just dumb. So, so I, I have a couple ways that I can maintain my manure for quite a while, which is good. So, Alright, Jared, a fun lab with Matt. second here. I had a Texas. What's the mod do? Uh, it has four different brands of cattle so it'll have two that are really good two that are really good dairy. So one dairy cow that will eat more than the other one and will, and will produce less slurry but one will produce more milk. The other one will produce more liquid manure but will eat less food or produce less milk. One, I can't remember exactly how it is and then there's two other ones for feeding. One will produce more cattle which I have right now, so we'll breed faster. Um, and one will produce more solid manure, and then the other one will like eat more food, less food type thing, so. How to Texas two-step? I'm not sure how you, I know how to two-step, but I don't think it's how. Texas two-step, so. I'm a good two-stepper. Ladies like it. I think I got bales another four, so I probably can't utilize that. We'll get the payloader in there, and I will I will have to get a couple of... It's one thing I haven't found is any good, like, solid manure spreaders. There's not many out there. There's a lot of liquid manure spreaders, oh my. 
Yeah, if you go find the Cal Breeds mod, Braden, and you, like, look in the info, it will tell you exactly what everything does. I, I just don't remember it 100%, but it will tell you. Tells you what's what. I don't got any weeds yet. I need to check if we need to do any spraying. Are you stepping where you sway side to side? Not really. You like take two steps forward, one step back, and you're and you're kind of doing the dun, 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 like the, your arm is going out here and kind of like that. That's a two step. It's hard to explain, but your arms going the same time your feet are. I suggested, man. I would suggest getting it for sure. 100. percent I'm get on it. Get on it. Get in it. Get on Midwest as well. It is Midwest Horizons, guys. I do have it in my title, but on my thumbnail, I always just put Midwest. So, because I, I try and fit Texar and CBJ on the title, and I need to kind of move it because I, I notice when I go to look at my videos, it shows how long the video. Like, do you guys see like the time of the video? Does it cut off some like CBJ's name? Maybe that's just for me. Maybe you guys don't see that, but I definitely see that in my my section on YouTube. I used to put Midwest Horizon, it's just such a long title for a thumbnail, but uh, well, I kind of shortened it a bit, but in my title down below I have the full. I want you guys to get confused and be like, well, you know, you play Midwest, but I got Midwest Horizons. Nice map. You don't want to know how many hours I have on this map, lots. I don't think as much as Socks and Random, but I've gone between this and Dyersville and Leaf River. So, you know, I've played a few different things. I know how to line dance a little bit. I'm a little rusty at that, not gonna lie. Generally, if people are line dancing, I don't get up and join them. I just sit there. <laughs> Depends how much I had to drink, I guess, when I was younger, but. What, Pat? You can't dance? Oh, my. I was gonna say I should do a video teaching you guys how to dance, but. This isn't a dance. This isn't a dance channel. We got a good amount of liquid manure, or a good amount of solid manure. Those cattle are walking over it. <laughs> they do that too. When you pile manure up in the pen, cattle do walk on it. It's crazy. I was like, what are they doing up there? Oh, that guy just biffed her. He just biffed it. That's cool. Well, that'll be good to get some of that out of there. I just gotta double check what we got from newer. 10,000 and 11. Ooh, one's got 11,000. Dang. That's weird that the second one would have more manure than the first one. Of soaking the ladies with dance. Yeah, new dancing tutorials. I mean, I don't really know how to dance either, guys. I know how to two-step. I know how to do, like, my awkward, just kind of, like, dance by yourself. And then, not even really know how to line dance. Like, I could get up there and follow people, but... Oh, you kill it with Cotton Eye Joe? That's one I could probably do, Cotton Eye Joe. That'd be funny to see Mike all liquored up. <laughs> Going on, YouTube. Hey, Waylon, how you doing, man? I'm actually not that, like, great of a dancer. I mean, I know how to two-step, and that, that's what matters the most. Most girls want a two-step, especially if you go to a country bar. I don't go to a lot of country bars, but you have to every now and then, for sure. I need to get some uh, toolboxes and stuff in here. I need to... something I'm going to do. There is a couple placeable packs out there with placeable things. Like benches and stuff. I'm going to download that pack, and I'm going to place some benches in the shop here. Kind of customize it a little bit. Make it a little more homey, roomy. Might even get a, you know, Sturk logo in here. Never know. Uh, the feedlots are from the Hoff Pack. Although, in the Hoff Pack, they're not quite the same. I have edited these a little bit. So I've added different fence. Because his were just like little metal gates around the outside. I added like actual fence that we use around my area for feedlots. They use the nice high boards, they make a nice windbreak for the cattle. That's kind of what we see around this area. 
I made the gates open on. I'm not sure if the gate opens on their pack. I had started editing it before I even used their pack. And when I placed it in game with my edit, the the, uh, the gate didn't open. So I'm not sure if that was me just messing it up or if their pack doesn't have a gate opening. I have no idea. So I made the gate open. Took me a little bit to get that right. That's They're a little fussy. You gotta have stuff just right. So I did that and then... Uh, I got rid of the, he has a milk tank on the side and he has uh, a liquid slurry on the side and he has his solid manure on the side. And I, to me, that wasn't realistic enough. So I uh, took away the liquid manure and the milk tank. I think they still produce liquid manure. Yeah. They're still producing slurry because I haven't taken it out of the lines. I just pulled it below the pen. So it's technically below the ground. So I can't even get to the trigger. The trigger's below the ground. So that's just kind of how I did it. Really fast and sloppy. Then, uh... Oh, we gotta got a... Texturing thing there, maybe? Yeah, maybe just from where the milk tank was. But, uh, yeah. The solid manure, I moved it and put it in the middle of the pen. So that I could, uh, clean out pens. Did the truck from 17? It did, Mathos. Uh, somebody in old school farming, Mr. Clark, I believe, released. It had the interior with the lady in it. I have it in my folder. I don't know if I have it in this one, though. It has some Lua issues, and it's not paintable. It has one paintable color, so to me, it. Kind of wish it wasn't done, because it wasn't really brought over properly, but that's, you know. Everybody's going to do it a little differently, so. You like it fast and sloppy. <laughs> Bunch of bites from college, one of which is my friend. It's out by you, and she had a hot friend with her. Apparently, oh, there's and apparently I'm waiting for this. So I got, let's go check our crops, guys. We're gonna go do that. Run around. Your great pickup line. Big deal was, do you like ketchup? <laughs> do you like ketchup? Did it work? Or she think you're weird for saying that. Excuse me, do you like ketchup? Live footage of tillage? Oh, believe me, I've got a video with heavy harrowing and uh, some disking already. We're already done. We're already done all our tillage and heavy harrowing. So. I did get footage of it, though. I'm just waiting till I can't stream to upload that uh, footage. I'm not gonna give you guys that footage when I'm when I'm able to stream. I'm gonna wait. Oh, I can spray this crop. Oh, definitely gotta spray that. Yeah, we got We can do some spraying, guys. Weeds, hundred percent, and we got ooh, weeds, hundred percent here too. Yeah. So we'll get some spraying done. But all right, pits. I'm gonna put a house up here. I wanna have like a, I think this is like a good house yard. I mean, it's almost too big of a yard for a house. I kinda hate to waste it for a house, but for a feedlot or a dairy, they would normally have their house this far away from the smell and stuff, right? So, I'm gonna put a house up here, I think. Is the plan, but ah, I just hate to waste this area. It's such a big area just to plop a house in. I still could do like a yard and a pond and stuff, but. Part of your farms there. Oh, that's a good idea, Mathos. I was, I was thinking of doing the feedlot up here, but I only would have been able to fit like one or two pens. I wouldn't have been able to fit all those buildings down there. So, but yeah, I don't know. I want to put a house here, but I hate to waste this nice space to just put a house. Like, utilize it for. You could put more of a bin yard up here, really. I might put another bin yard up there. My bin yard's good down here for now, but. Um, if I ever expand more, I will need more. So I, I technically could put some up there, I guess. Let me get them digits. Do you like ketchup? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's all right, Mike. I mean, you tried, right? You did your best. You were probably just a little too liquored, eh? <laughs> Well, I know there's there's space here for a house, but I already have this house. I mean, it's not a house where I can sleep at, which is fine. I just kind of wanted to have a second house. But yeah, I don't really want to put another one like right here. I might just leave it. Put sheds there. 
at the moment, I don't think I need any more sheds. Most of the, like, I got two big sheds. I, I got three, actually. Oh, you got her number. She just never texts back. Oh. <laughs> hey, that happens, man. I've had that before. But I've also not texted people back before, too, so... Somebody says, hey, and I say a couple things, and then I find somebody that I actually like and I'm interested in, and then I stop talking to the other person, so... It's a spot for a brothel. You betcha, man. Pat, I don't, I don't know how you know these things. It's like, you just, like... You got the intellect, man. You just, you know what's happening. So, I know, I know if I'm gonna not talk to some people, I expect it to happen to me in return. So, it's just life, right? But I like to text the ladies a lot. Well, it's honestly hard to have a lot of, like, four or five conversations going on at once. Because I like to, like, if I really am interested in somebody, I like to put a lot of time and effort into talking with them, so... <clears throat> Like, whatever you like, Pat. Whatever you want, man. Need to up the capacity on the what? Capacity on live. You mean, like, houses where you can sleep at? Is that what you mean, Scott? So you can place more than one? And technically, you can just put the house in decoration. You can put it in the decoration category, and then you can place as many houses as you wanted. Yeah, this is on Mod Hub. Uh, Anthony put it there. It's on Expendables. All over the place, man. Oh, we need weeds, don't we? This is liquid fertilizer. Hmm. We had the same problem last time, didn't we, with the other farm? I need herbicide. Don't want another trailer. Uh, I guess we'll have to unload this. Oh, I'll have to dig out our sprayer first. Our sprayer is in that shed quite deep, so. Oh yeah, like the one I've been using, the the capacity's up up on it already. I'm not hauling sixteen cattle at a time, that's just ridiculous. It does, you betcha. Uh, this shed like has nothing in it. I think so, Pat. I mean, it's just a fancy word. I, I honestly don't really know the definition of a brothel. All the dirty talk. Not gonna lie, you got a sex once in a while. For you guys that don't know what that means, I'm not gonna elaborate. Don't think I can get... No, oh, we'll hit the door. I gotta get this guy out, too. This must have, like, an extra little collision that sticks out past the tires. Because, man, this thing, like... Very finicky. Hey, what are you doing, man? I don't really know because I never go to them and I've never really paid attention to kind of what the definition is of them, so. Oh. Almost 8 o'clock. How long have we been streaming for, guys? 96 minutes. Surprised we haven't had another uh, ice yet. Oh, the date, Mike? Uh, it never ended up happening. We got so much snow, the roads, there was accidents all over the highway, so her and I agreed to we just meet another time, because we were, were an hour away from each other, so we figured it wasn't worth getting in an accident. So. There was no date. Postponed. 
Oh, wow. The heist has been up for a while. What have you guys been doing? Come on. Hey, Brian, how you doing, man? Yeah, he's just going to sleep, man. That's what it sounds like. We talk all the time, like a lot, so it's, <coughs> I'd say it's all right. Hey, Callus, you doing, man? You got bored of mapping? No way, man. She's not. She ain't a deer girl. Uh, definitely not. I don't. Her parents are. She's from. Uh, oh, listen to this, Mike. She's from Manitoba. Family's from Manitoba. She's here now, but chances are, if I was to date her, I'd be in Manitoba. I could come meet you one day. <laughs> that that's true. How many things are in here? Good lord. Finally, we're out. There we go. That's. Oh, uh, you guys made it. I didn't. Hey, Logan, how you doing, Matt? What am I keeping in those meridian bins? Uh, not all of them are full. I actually kind of put way more bins down than I actually needed for my first harvest. So. <clears throat> Real Pony, we got uh, seeds in one of these bins, fertilizers in another, and then the other two are empty. All three of these are empty over here, and one of these bins had corn in it, but it's empty because I hauled it. So pretty much all the bins are empty, ready for harvest. But we only had like one field that we harvested, and it fit in one big bin pretty much. So this here, we got a bunch more fields. I'm thinking we'll fill up most of the bins. We'll see, I have way more storage space than I eat on this farm. And I do have quite a bit of corn, or maybe a little bit of corn. That's gotta go in my feed mill on the, on the feed lot down there. It's gotta go in those bins. And those bins, I don't, I never changed the capacity on them, so I'm sure they can hold a lot. Hey Trevor, how you doing, man? Scott? I'm almost in the right province. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're from Manitoba, right? That's what you told me. I swear. Or no, never mind. You're from Ontario. Damn it. Why was I thinking Manitoba? My bad. I just, for some reason, was thinking. I completely forgot. So I'm going to put these on shelving. It's my plan here. So we're going to go get some shelving. Maybe it's in miscellaneous. We are going to place down a herbicide tank as well. It's not, it's in decoration. I know, I was confused. I was like, yay, Manitoba, and then realized from Ontario. I don't know why I was thinking you were from Manitoba. Alright. That's three shelving. We can fit one, well, we could probably fit three, six, nine. I could put some on the ground too, I guess, so. That's not bad actually. Um what do we Probably need pallet forks, which I do not have, darn it. Hmm. 
You really want to be classy province? Just sound snobby? I don't know what you're talking about, Pat. Yeah, I don't know why I think that. I really don't. Well, I need... I need pallet forks. Damn it. <clears throat> Who could bring me pallet forks? This guy... Well, we'll go get herbicide with this guy. I'll pull another truck and trailer behind me. If, uh, follow me so we can get our, uh... Pallet forks for our... Telehandler. I don't know what to do with this sugar beet field, guys. I bought this giant sugar beet field. I don't know what to do with it. We're probably going to have to work it. Because I don't really want to do... I don't really need sugar beets. I don't want to do sugar beets. Like, they're not in my ration. They were in the ration, but I took them out. I guess I could put them in there, but... Word province sounds snobby. I disagree, man. It's just province. <clears throat> the meridian bins, they are out there. Should be in quite a few places, I think. What were we doing? I don't think I can get that guy out of that spot, to be honest. Here, we'll pull the pull the hay buster out of the way. Get that custom truck out of this shed. He's taking up too much of my damn space. The sugar beet guru? That's true. It just, you see when we did it on multiplayer, you see how long it took for five or six of us to do it? Yeah. That's the only thing, it just, it just takes too long. A randoms page has the these small meridian bins here. He doesn't have the other ones. The other ones were converted. He has these. These are not refillable. You can make them refillable if you want. But he's made it all one piece too, so you have to go in and blender and separate the auger and stuff from the bin to get rid of that if you want. You can't do it in Giants. He's got it all as one piece. Hey, Jinjo, how you doing, man? Thanks, Logan. Oh, yeah, I knew it was going to happen. They fall over because I don't have a collision on the fork, so. Doing good, man. Thing is that trailer? Never mind. Why am I going up there? This trailer has ramps. Highly doubt that, man. Two girls. They don't want a guy. Like never. I'll let you watch. It's pretty much it. And yeah, I don't even. I don't know what I'm doing. I got ramps on this trailer. We'll get this custom guy out of our shit anyway. He's he's not part of the not part of the farm. I think I just leased the truck anyway. Probably match with anything. Need to make a mods list. You know how you know how much that I, that's that's like impossible NASCAR. You guys just gotta go watch to their streams where I've already mentioned it 15 times. And it gives me more views. Plus, you find out where the mod is. It's a win-win. I'm playing with over like 280 mods right now. I'm not making a mods list for 280 mods. No, thank you. It's just not happening. That would be a waste of my time. I 
I tell everybody where they are now, but sooner or later I'm gonna get tired of saying it. So eventually, if you ask, I will just ignore the comment in chat. Just an FYI. I've said I've said stuff plenty of times, so I'll pretty much when people message the page and ask me where stuff is, I tell them to watch the stream, so. I know it's easy to tell people where it is, but you get tired answering the same questions over and over and over. So, I mean, just gotta watch the stream. The stream will be there forever, and my voice is there. And I don't have to say it, the stream will do it for me. I could just turn my bot back on to time out people that say link or where's that or like I did before. I could do that because I got a lot less people asking when I had that. But It was also getting people for stupid stuff. That's why I took it off. At what stream? <laughs> the last like four or five streams. Do I know where that fertilizer trailer is from? Go in the stream where that's part of the thumbnail because I get asked it like 10 times in that stream. You'll find it in there for sure. I say the I say the page like five times. Uh, John, I don't know if I'll be able to stream when I move to the farm. So the internet's decent. I think I can still play online games, but I don't think I'm gonna have five upload. I don't know yet. I, I will try it, so. Yeah, literally every stream, Thunder. <laughs> exactly. Literally every stream I say. Some mods I say, you know, don't always say every stream, but a lot I do, so it's... What you guys gotta do is watch the stream, and I mean it helps me out, and it helps you at the same time. So it's, like I said, it's a win-win. Make a video list. Video list. What do you mean, Texar, like a video list? Like... Go to this video. Like, I have them all in um, playlists. That's not what you're meaning, I don't think. It's crazy, though, because the stuff you don't think is going to get a lot of views does, and the stuff that you're like, oh, this is going to be a good one, I did a good thumbnail, and it's like, wow, that did not do as good as I thought it does. Oh, a mods list with a video. Okay. A lot of people do those. That's true. There's a lot of like smaller sub two channels that get like a couple thousand views on their videos, and I was like, I hardly ever get a thousand views. On I have I have a couple videos that got over a thousand now, but I look at those guys and I'm like, but they don't even have any subs, and they're like, you know, two or three thousand view videos. So yeah, I mean that's I maybe should. Those take time too, because then you gotta be like, here's all the links in the description. I mean, you know why you get a lot of views? Because people go to that video, they go down to the list, and they click the downloads, and then they don't ever watch the video again. That's why you get so many views, because you get so many people coming the one time to, to do that. <laughs> that's why you get so many views, because everybody's there for the mods. But that's a good idea. A lot of stuff I use. I mean,. Some of it's out there on like eight different sites. But. Do I have experience adding straps to trailers? I do. I do Mike? That's part of like part of auto load, I guess. Or I mean, you don't need auto load to have straps, but definitely familiar with it. Ah. That's a good idea. Let's them in the video. I don't know what it is with this truck, but it... Sometimes I can only go 28. See, now it goes faster again. I don't know what it is. Sometimes it just, like, dies down. Yeah, like, a, I can't go 74. All the other trucks I can. It's not this truck. It's not a bad idea, Techstar. I might have to do that. Oh, 
Oh, I know Mathos. I mean, there's lots of people that are good, right? But there's a lot of people that just come in for the money. And that's... You're not ever going to get rid of that. And that's 100% expected. I'm not uh, expecting that at all. But it's kind of my go-to spot for placeables. But now that there's seed production out, now you can, I'm going to actually put a... I'm going to piece together a seed plant... I don't know where I'm going to place it. Maybe over in that grass. I want to kind of have it in town area. So that's probably what I'm going to do. But if we can get rid of some of these placeables, we can actually do inputs. Because a seed plant will be nice. Because I can get rid of these placeable seed bins. And then when we get crop from harvesting, we'll have to allocate so much of that crop for seed. So we'll have to budget that in. So that's more realistic. I like playing that way. So I look forward to doing that. I don't know when I'm going to work on that. No, definitely not tonight. Oh, wow. We're way over here. To the shop. Um, in GE to place them, yes. Like you could, you have to have the transform group and stuff in GE, and then you have to have how many how many straps you want. Yeah, there's uh, it's on on the mod hub, I believe. There's seed production, there's fertilizer production, there's TMR production, there's silage production. Like somebody's got wood chips going into silage or something. I think that's a little weird, but. Uh, uh, the W900 right here with the bunk is my favorite that I'm driving right now. This is my, my most favorite truck. Uh, I think he took down the Link NASCAR because somebody had released something on a public site and he got I guess he got upset and took down the Link, but I find that funny when people do that. They say, they say we're a mature group. Um, we don't want any drama, but then something happens like that and they take the Link down and then they make a post about it. That's, that's, that's drama. But they say they don't, uh, that's true, until Jake's comes. I mean, I'm not a Pete, I mean, uh, we'll see. I, I think I'm going to like it too, so. Should be soon, I think, but. Yeah, like, uh, somebody's got the wood chips or something going into silage. It's a, I'm pretty sure you can make it into anything, right? Because somebody's just got it, so you put in one input and you get out this input. That's, they don't have it, so you can have multiple, but. That's, uh, somebody's got that out now, so, uh, which way is this facing? Well, let's put it this way just in case. But I, I like, I'll do a proper building for the seed plant and stuff. That way I don't have to come and fill out the fillable things. I can use my own crop. I'm looking forward to that. Um, how much of this do we want? Why does my trailer say liquid fertilizer on it still? Zero percent. Don't tell me there's like one percent in here or something. Drama is another word. I just find it funny. If you if you say there's no drama, then don't make a post. People at the group making a post about stuff. It's just funny. Are you supposed to say it? Drama? Drama? Llama? <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason, it's saying I got liquid fertilizer in here, which is a crock of shit. Take herbicide, you hot liquor. How do you guys like that one? Hold on, let's see where the trigger is on this. Yeah, it's all over the place. I'm thinking that I got like 1% of liquid fertilizer in there. That is a pain in the butt. Well, we're going to reset the sprayer to the store, I guess. No, oh, I guess I can just reset the trailer. Yeah, that's, that's true, Thunder. Rather than reset the sprayer, reset the trailer. Now you're thinking, man. Like it. Soft A and drama, not a hard A. Drama? Not drama? Can I hit unload with the trailer right now? I don't think I could. Yeah, I don't think I can hit uh, off. I don't think I can hit unload on the trailer right now. No. Can't without a sprayer here. We'll just reset it, I guess. 
I'm just happy to do because this truck was never to scale in 17, so it's nice to finally have it to scale. As window lickers? <laughs> exactly. Damn, yeah, window lickers? Oh boy, guys, this might be trickier than I thought. Pickle blades there, trucks there. Come on, trailer, where are you? You have to get further away from it, I think. There we go. Dunzo. Nice, John. Yeah, I wish I would have been smart and did it on my own multiplayer and then. Then I could have kept them separate with the money and stuff. I should have, but I didn't, so. Drama. Drama. <laughs> hey man, I have a special vocabulary there, okay? Just like my decals. Right guys, decals. What else do I say? Semi? <laughs> yeah, Lane, it would be nice. Are you gonna get one one day, man? Man, I get stuck on the fence. Every time this fence gets me, Texar, every time I run into it. Bahama? <laughs> Bahamas? I don't know. I don't get what you guys are talking about. Alright, who puts a mailbox there? Come on. I guess the milk place has to get their mail, right? That's why you put it there. <laughs> hey, at least you don't got fences in every field. God, leave forever when I first played that. Can this thing not accept liquid fertilizer? Or uh, herbicide? Hello? Uh, I guess not. We'll try the other side. I might have to go check this trailer out. It might not. I, sw I swear I've done herbicide out of it before. Almost swear, swear by it. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Have to be over on the front side of it, I guess. Thank you for no fence in every field. Leaf River was like that when I played it in seventeen, and then I told I told Six Gun when he put the nineteen. I said you gotta take some of those fences out, man. I mean, he was trying to follow the area and be realistic, so I get that. But a field that's right there, and you gotta go out, and you gotta go all around half the map to get to it, that bothers me. I mean, I guess if that's real life and they wanna stick to that, then ultimately the map maker makes that choice because they are building the map, right? They do whatever the fuck they want. But it's nice if you can just deviate a little bit, not have. I mean, to me, you have to have some fences. You can't have no fences, you gotta have some fence, some detail for sure. A little bit of both. Midwest is perfect. It's got big fields, small fields, bigger yards, smaller yards, um, trees, different waterways, <coughs> different grassy. Like it's just it's it's got everything. It's got it's got variety. That's what I like about. It. Let's go get this telehandler fork on too. I got. You know what, guys? I'm gonna have some popcorn tonight. Some of the roommates left some popcorn. I was like, yeah, because I looked the other day. I was like, I got no snacks. I didn't want to go out in the snow. They want to go buy some snacks, but they left me popcorn. Yeah, we're having popcorn tonight. It's gonna be a party. You're all invited. But I'll do up that video. I'll do that unboxing the drone video for you guys. Try and spice it up a little bit, you know? Add a little pizzazz to it. Have you ever heard that word? Pizzazz? I know, free popcorn. It, it potentially could have been mine to begin with, but I don't remember. I'm just gonna say that it's free because, you know what? If it's not yours, it always tastes better. Always. Uh, why is that? Oh, you know what? Because you probably didn't capitalize the T there, Mathos. You're not, you're not spelling it right, man. Not smell it right. 
I don't want to go in the snow. Well, it was like blizzarding, and I just want to stay in and stream, okay? A hearty meal. Exactly. Like, who needs meat and potatoes and vegetables when you got popcorn? I'm just eating popcorn. I met a girl once. She's like, I've been eating popcorn for a week. And I was like, who are you? I was like, let me join in. God, people are out doing yard work already. I know, yellow flag, right? You, like, whoa, like, you can't eat popcorn for an entire week. I mean, one day, yes, but entire week, and all you're eating is popcorn? Like, come on now, grow up a little bit. <laughs> oh, Jared, I'm jealous, man. I wish I could be planting, but instead I'm stuck streaming. But you know what? You guys make it fun, so. Oh, I don't got a whole lot of pallet forks. I need some, uh... I don't think random has any pallet forks, does he? No. Wait, we'll just check. I don't think he does. We'll just check. Pretty sure he doesn't. It's all spears, I believe. I don't even have his spears in here. What the heck? This music's just so... I don't know. I don't know how to say it. What I call it? Hey, what am I doing, man? There we go. Finally got her. I was I was dying here waiting for you, Mathos. You gotta spell it perfectly, man. I mean, man, your name's so easy. Up tempo? Yeah, that's, yeah, sure. We'll we'll go with that. Up tempo. Did I even buy the pallet for it? So I did time behind the pit bull. <laughs> I need to get that attacher joint uh, put on the versatile. Like, honestly. Blade, how have you been doing silage? It's been sitting at the store. This is what you guys get. This is what Pitbull gives you guys. Don't buy... I mean, come on, Pitbull. Like, they gave me a used blade. It's just sitting here. It's already used. I haven't even touched the damn thing. It's the wind must be... Wind must be hurting it or something. I don't know. Funny. Hey, Sasuke, do man. His spears are in bailing, my man. <laughs> You're right. Are they? Oh, you're right, Trevor. They are, man. I'm really, I'm really slipping. It's not what I want anyway, but you are right. I mean, don't get used to it. It's not gonna happen all the time. Stuck inside watching the snow melt. Well, get out there, Edwin, and help it, man. You know, if you pee on the snow, it melts even quicker. Just saying. Hey, Ethan, how you doing, man? I mean, if you guys stick around, I do give off some pretty good tips. I mean, some will blow your mind. You'll be like, oh my god, I did not know that. I mean, I'm like, yeah, like, like, yeah. Where do I farm at? Central, Central Alberta. And there, you close your eyes, you spin in a circle, and you go in whatever direction you feel like, and you'll find me. That's exactly how you do it. All right, Mike, have a good one, Matt. Have fun on Terrible. I mean, on Ter Ontario. <laughs> what do you mean, miss your comment? Where did you say something? Oh, I did miss your comment, my bad. Sorry, Jake. Guess you should leave? Well, I mean, I know how much you like your dollars, and I think you're in third place. I think you're gonna stay, no, I don't know. That blade, you betcha, it is on that. Yeah, Jake has a pick. I think I put it on there and then I sent it to Jake and I said tweak it for me. So I think he was a little upset because he's like, what, I gotta tweak it? And I was like, well yeah, I put the Tatcher on, you gotta move it around. Uh, I'm driving a Kenworth. Uh, this is 7L Farms Kenworth. It's somebody has added a sleep or two. Like I said before, they did a decent job. Like they actually did it in a modeling program or something. Cause like, look at that, like that sleeper is mint. Same interiors in here. I mean, normally when people put a sleeper on, they just slap it on the back. They don't even make it connect. So, I mean, he, he at least did the proper job. I don't know what Dylan thinks of it. Probably 
Probably doesn't like it, but I mean, at least it was done proper. I mean, I don't like the, the one paint job on it, but that's the black, the back wall. Oh, so he just took the back wall and then made uh well, he had to do some, he had to do a little bit of blender work. Can't make it look like that without doing some blender work. I guess you just duplicate the back. Well, I'm not sure how it's all. I guess if you separated it. Gotta look at that again. Hey, you still had to make this part around the window and stuff, so, I mean. I think it was at least done proper. I mean, other than the, the paint job being one paint job and stuff. I'm not a huge fan of that, but. You damn the interior into glass, so yeah. I suppose, I guess, the window is already there. Well, I think it still looks decent. Other than not being able to choose different colors, but. My paint doesn't really matter. But I play with anything. <laughs> Not just anything, I guess, but. Oh, okay. So it's not done 100% proper. Well, I am cor I stand corrected. I don't know why the hell I'm sitting so goddamn low in here. I don't want to be a super trucker today. Well, we're heading back, guys, so. When am I gonna put a new video on the farm up? When I'm not streaming, man. If I'm able to stream, I'm not gonna put up a real life video. That's that's conflicting with each other. I wanna give you guys content. If I can stream, I'm gonna stream. When I can't stream, I'll give you real life farm videos. Or whatever I can give you, and that might be nothing, but I'll do my best. That's kind of the plan. If I was to stream and then the next day put out a farm video and then stream again, like I've just given you a lot of content in one week, I want to space it out a bit so that if I'm not able to stream for a week or two, I still have some stuff for you guys to watch. Like I said, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna turn my stream on one day and I'm gonna go to a playlist and I'm gonna watch that playlist. The only problem is, is if I'm not home when that playlist ends, I don't know what it's gonna do. My stream is gonna, gonna sit there and be on, I guess. I don't have any way to. I don't have any way to control it when I'm away from the computer. I don't think, but. <laughs> yeah, if you guys do ice once and see the time, don't do it again. You're gonna get a timeout, Mr. Moderator. He's ready. Somebody's got a chainsaw. I don't know what the hell they're doing out there. It's 8 o'clock. Go and drink a beer, damn it. Quit doing yard work. It's still snow everywhere. Now, I always mess this up. The guys always wrap themselves around the pole, so... Maybe we can get it right this time. Nice. Yes, we did. <clears throat> now I was gonna make this. Dr oh, we lost the telehandler. <laughs> I was gonna make the driveway bigger, but Texar sent me a thing, and he said this is the size they are. So we might just leave it. <laughs> the mechanic here. All right, I don't know how we lost that, but oh well. Exactly. Well, I mean. 
you think the helper would be smart enough, but I mean, they don't pay him a whole lot, so I guess it, I guess they had it coming. I was actually going to put a fence down this power pole line. It's a nice white fence, that would look cool, but then I thought, well, yeah, it's tough. Tough call. The Jake wants fences. Put as many fences as you can on Newland. I guess Newland had a lot of fences, didn't it? Why do you need leg surgery, Waylander? What did you do? Yeah, I remember just playing on I was just like, oh, fence there, fence there, fence there. I mean, hey, if that's making the map and that's how it is and you want to do that then I don't blame you. Doing good, Olivia. you doing, man? Oh, fences on every field. Oh my. How long to do? 120? Oh man, that would be forever. I mean, sometimes if you get a long strand, you can get, like, pretty slick at doing them. But, yeah, if you get anything amount of curves or any, like, terrain to go over with fences, oh, it's the worst. Oh, that sucks, man. Ouch. <clears throat> but we're gonna fill up with some pesticide because we got some uh, stuff to spray. We'll put all that fertilizer in our shed. Yeah, that would suck, man. That, that's harsh. If I put a house up here, I wouldn't be able to do this. I think I should put a bin yard up here. I think it'd be nice. We need a bigger bin yard when we put bins up here. All right, Liv, have a good night, man. What do you guys think? I think bins up here would be nice. Mm. I will, man, thanks. Got grain trucks to load in the morning. Tomorrow is going to be, uh, if I do stream, it's going to be strictly Sea of Thieves, guys. The anniversary update comes out. There is, there is a new arena. There's a new PvP mode, like called the arena. I just said that, obviously. Um, strictly just PvP. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff. There's fishing. There's so much stuff added, and I'm going to be playing Sea of Thieves tomorrow night. So, if I'm streaming, that's what I'll be streaming, 100. percent giving you guys lots of farm sims so if you want some free trailer dollars i would suggest coming and hanging out and uh yeah leave it on chat every once in a while i get some trailer dollars that's all that i care about i mean having you guys just having some viewers is nice so but that is my plan full-on sea of thieves tomorrow Sure, and I probably can't load from this side, can I? Or no, I gotta be... I gotta go closer to the back, I think. Or I have to be on the other side, I don't remember. It is 100% the other side. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I forget that, I should know that. Use it enough. I just need to make that trigger big enough so that it goes over the whole trailer, not just one side. Kind of silly. I'd be able to load from whatever side I want to. 
mind you, we, we pull our hose reel out, we pull our hose out, and we leave it on one side, so I guess, I guess, technically, only it's for one side, but we can move it, just takes a little bit. And we want snap train angle on, that on, auto width, there we go. Not quite in line, I guess. Go. There we go, we're off. We are off to some spraying. Took the tram car, okay. So you got the hold fertilizer, but you'll have to make sure you script this so you can you can unload a sprayer from it. There's lots of tanks out there that can hold fertilizer, but they don't have the ability to fill from. So you gotta be mindful of that. streaming for two hours. I feel like we've been streaming for like three. Mind you, I did start like probably, I probably started at 6.30. Hey Jagger, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream, my friend. It's good. Spraying some weeds, unfortunately, right now is what we have on the docket. Uh, we have a roll gator, 1100B, I believe. Thanks, Jagger. Appreciate it, man. Two hours and 19 minutes, that's all, wow. It's like a long time. I must really be digging that popcorn. Not sure what to watch, though. Game of Thrones, I haven't watched any episodes yet. Or... Well, after the movie theater one night and watch the new Marvel movie, but. Can I show my setup on what? Like, my on the game right now? I've been tabbing through a ton of vehicles. Uh, you'd have you'd have to go back and stream and watch, or you can watch when I'm done streaming, because I, I pretty much go through them all. I want to get some spraying done at the moment, so gaming setup no but maybe one day i'll show you guys but my room is quite the mess i mean you probably can't see in my webcam but like just all around me i got so many boxes because i'm in the process of moving myself so it is uh did i never did i not come back and plant that strip i did not wow i'm an idiot i remember seeing that i missed that but i never came back and got it wow a little upset with myself now. When I get all moved into the new one, I'll maybe do a video because it'll be all a nice, clean new room. But <clears throat> with all the moving boxes I've had for the last couple months, I just, I don't. I took a few pictures and showed like Jake and them, but I don't know. it's not the greatest yet. I need a bigger desk. And <clears throat> other than that, everything else is kind of nice, but. Nowhere near close to like what random has got for his setup, but he's got a lot of stuff. I mean, I got three monitors, he's got four. His are bigger, I think 32s, mine are only 27s. <clears throat> are mine 32s? No, I think they're only 20. Playing PC too? Nice. Yeah, my hired worker stopped because of the water up here. <clears throat> And I forgot to go back, so we're missing a little bit in the wheat. I'm a little upset because I even I even knew that that happened, and I forgot about it. 
don't own 78. So, okay. I guess I do own stuff down here now. <clears throat> it would be nice to actually run a roll gator on here, but I don't know. Just the roll gator that's converted. I mean, it was the same in 17. It's just not enough detail for me to really want to use it. But. getting oh that's i was like oh i'm killing weeds in the grass but that's just pixar just has weeds there it looks like it's placed can't figure out gps it's not bad just gotta use it man they got a help menu there's some video there's some videos on youtube on how to use it i mean i'd suggest go watching one of those and just practice with it man you'll Jake had to run me through it a little bit because I never really messed around with it and then we were playing all of a sudden you know he was nice enough to show me how to do it and I mean, I would have figured out in time. He just helped me speed along through a little bit quicker, so it was nice. Everywhere, man. Everywhere. High, low, left, right. Friends, family, strangers. Dogs, cats, figure that one out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Man, I'm getting tired out. We are going to do one more heist. Whenever that heist pops, that's when I'm going to quit streaming, guys. So that should only be like 10 minutes away or 12 minutes away or something. But I would like to get to some other stuff tonight. Maybe start working on a seed plan, but the script's already out there. I just gotta copy and paste some billings together, make it look half decent, and lap her in the game. Be fun. 100%. My farm is right behind me. Believe me, man, once I quit streaming, if you wanna, if you wanna go back and watch the last six or seven streams, they've all been on this map practically. And you see so much of the feedlot in the in the farms. You can check out. This is the first time I've actually been doing field work for like the last like five, the last three or four streams. It's all been in the arm or in the in the yard. I farm in real life in Canada. Northern Pole, man. I'm right on the tip. No, I'm kidding. You can't, you can't farm there. Pretty cool if you could, though. But hey, guys. Farm in the North Pole, what's up? What is up? Alright. Killing us some weeds. Alright. I recommend to go watch Techie, Techie two three three. I recommend to go watch him. Um, Joe's not really around, but I mean everybody knows Joe, so I mean, go watch LBJ Media as well. Who else? Uh, I was watching Clutch Simulations a little bit. He's not bad. I think he plays a little more arcade style, but he was he was okay to watch. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I haven't gone and watched, um, what's his name? It's not R.D. Allen. Uh, what's the other guy? Can't remember his name. Another guy, He's he's got a lot of subs, but he I, I found his videos to be close to kind of the way I play, and so I kind of liked watching, but I can't remember. Yeah, and see, I, I don't agree with that. Thunder. I mean, he does really well. I... I I'll say that right off the bat. He knows exactly what his people want to see, and like he, his sub subscribers show. Not saying he's not bad what he does. I just don't like his style of play. That's not me. That's arcade. He just 
Oh, I mean, he he has every mod probably like me too, but he has all the logging and quads and all that stuff. I don't I don't have that stuff, but I play Farm Simulator, Farm Simulator. I don't do camping or I mean, that's good. Like the stuff he does, it works. Everybody likes to watch that. It's not not my style, but obviously what he's doing works, and yeah, well, that's all you gotta do. Watching TPF. I mean, it's whatever. I mean. He, you gotta like what you're gonna like, right? So, I'm more of a live streamer. I don't do a lot of videos. Squad is more of a video guy, right? So, Mike puts up his hand. <laughs> do you stream, Mike? Because, like, I'm more live stream, so I'm more chatty. I think, you know, Squad's more than just the videos. I mean, it's a, it's a different mindset, right? He does a 20-minute video, and, yeah, it's... I feel like live streaming doesn't get as many views as putting out 20 minute videos does, but I mean, that's that's fine. I like talking with you guys. Artie Allen, I'm trying to think what the other guy was name was. Uh, he has, he wears like a John Deere hat and he usually has his coffee in the morning. He's got a little bit of a beard. What's his name? I can't think of it. Not Artie Allen, I don't think it is. Oh, okay, my guy, see, man. Uh, if I watch any American trucking, I watch Full Tilt. He's really good. I he's got a really good stream set up too. I kind of like I kind of seen that he had transitions, so then I kind of use transitions. Plus, any YouTube video I watch, it says you need transitions. So I mean, I put some in. But Ian Robinson, that's who it is, Jackson. Yeah, I like Ian. I, uh, when he was doing his County Line series, I mean, it's kind of nice to see people use stuff, too. They're like, well, I'm not sure how to use this. And I was like, well, you know, yeah, we put that out there. Like, I wish I could tell you, but it's a video. Like, but I liked his style. I felt like he, he plays somewhat realistic, too. So, I like Ian Robertson. He's, he's good. Yeah, I like him, and he... Calm, chill guy. Puts out good videos. Does a 20 minute video thing. Maybe live streams. I haven't watched him in a long... I haven't watched him since 17. I need to actually go watch him. But he plays a lot of Euro maps or lately that I've seen. So I don't really care to watch the European maps. But Maybe he'll be on Midwest. It seems like everybody's on it. So all I see now is everybody's like, Oh, guys, I got something exciting to tell you. Midwest! And they're streaming on it. And I was like, Cool. I mean, it's, it's, your techs are love seeing everybody's on it. Like, it's, it's all you see now, everybody talking about it, which is good. I knew it'd be a good map, so, but I'm still playing it. We'll move on to another map eventually when they come out, but. Sure, we'll have to test more maps in the future, but kind of enjoying my single player on this at the moment. Played a lot of in between playing MP on this. I went to Dyersville for a while, played some single player, and then Jake and I played a fair bit. So kind of back to Midwest. I played quite a bit of Dyersville, so I'll probably go back again. It's just you know back and forth. Play a little bit. If you get a little tired of it, you gotta go to something else, and or, or just switch it up, right? Like you know, playing single player, building kind of my own farm is kind of what's kind of got me back into farm sim for a little bit. So everybody else has got their other games, which is cool. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, is South Dakota the one that random them run right now? Yeah, I I have it. Like, I, I went on the server the other day and, like, downloaded the mods and stuff because I hadn't been I hadn't been on the server in a while, so I had a lot of mods to download. But I downloaded it. I haven't tried it yet. But uh, I'm hoping to get on MP with them one night and play because I've... I feel like, you know, I haven't been playing a lot late. I mean, they're usually streaming too early for me lately because I've been getting home later because I've been working later hours, but... I don't know if Sox has a map. I don't think Sox is working on a map, but... Oh my, my kid 16 times? Good lord, man. That's cool, but oh my. 
I haven't really tried the Wind Chaser map. It had a lot of errors. I think that Antler's done some updates to it, but... Uh, I don't know. Jake really likes Dyersville, so we I think his server is probably going to be Dyersville for quite a while, so... No, I don't think Sox is working. You played on it with him. Um, Michigan? He had his public server. I went and played. I did two streams with him on his public server. And, and uh, Indiana, I think all the guys that were on his public server. Oh, Dyersville. Yes. No, uh, CWJ108 is working on that. That's his map. That's CWJ. He's quite busy with life at the moment, so I'm not sure how much he's working on the map, but... Takes a while. Good stuff takes time. Pixar knows that. Most mappers do. If you add the detail that they do, it takes time. They don't just take a brush and go, whoop, here's a road. And I mean, you kind of do a rough, a rough in, but then when you add detail and stuff, you don't just kind of just paint your lines and, oh, field, field, field. Like, I see some people build maps and they, oh, I've already built the map in two weeks. And I was like, no, we haven't. I mean, you've got something, but it's not near the quality as these guys. I've never built a map from scratch, but I've definitely edited a lot of maps, and just editing takes time. If you want it to look good first, and B, to do it proper, and get your file pass right, and not have a bunch of junk in there, and like, you could just bring in stuff from every map, and then, but then you're, then you get like a six gigabyte map, and like, that's, that's not optimization, so to optimize maps, that takes, that takes a lot of skill and time, not everybody can do that either, so, I mean... People think it's easy. I've never built a map from scratch, but I know what it takes just to edit and do stuff properly. So, you definitely um, can... If you've ever done any of that before, you can relate to these guys and you know how much work and time and effort they put into it. So, it's... Uh, I'm sure it feels good when they finally release and be like, okay, I'm done. But I mean, then potentially some errors that, you know... We didn't find testing come up, and then you gotta do more fixes. So I mean, it maybe makes a little more work, but or if your techs are, he's already working on three other maps. So I mean, <laughs> do what you love, love what you do. Yeah, I can release them on the next project. It's a lot of the people saying there's errors. It's usually the mods they're using, so usually you don't have to worry about it. So. Because I swear, there's so many people that don't even have, they don't, they don't even know what a log is. And I mean, granted, when I first started in 13, I didn't know what a log was either. But as soon as I started seeing people like say, check your log, I was like, well, what is that? I need to go figure out what that is. I didn't want to be left out or because people are like, well, I'm having an issue. Like people just post randomly in a group, you know. I'm having an issue, can anybody help me? And I was like, I would have never thought of doing that 13. I didn't know anything about the game. I wasn't going to go out and just ask a dumb question like that. You go, you do the research, and you learn yourself. Like, I I have so many questions I could have asked back in the day. But you know what? I just Googled it, or I didn't do it. If I couldn't figure it out, I couldn't figure it out. Stayed pretty quiet. Like to be that way, because if you're the guy asking stuff on groups all the time, and your your name gets out there, and it doesn't make you look good, and makes you look lazy. I think this map's was it down to 200? Are you sure? I thought it was 400 and some. Man, if Techstar optimized it that much with the new updated one, good lord, that's awesome. I think it's about 425 MBs. Or it was when I downloaded this one, but I haven't downloaded his latest version yet. So just because I didn't want to lose my, my progress, I think in that one he had some updated soybean textures and some. He might, might have corn too. He had a couple of updates. Now it looks like we can do uh, alfalfa and have alfalfa bales as well. So. I, th I think I'm going to test it out and see if I can move my items, if it can move most of this farm. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll obviously lose my cattle and stuff. But. 
I just make sure I keep track of all the the totals I have and everything, and I can kind of put that in myself. But ah, I got you, Mike. Right on, man. You got it as two hundred, huh? No, I guess it's updated once two hundred. That's pretty good. That is that is small for. Mind you, this map is like it's kept fairly like clean, you know, like so I can imagine it being that small. Nice map. Why the hell did Giants not want it on the mod up? Damn it! Curse Giants. Curse them all. All right, I'm just answering a text there. Alrighty, what about we do it? Yeah, good job for sure, indeed. I'm just glad everybody gets to enjoy it now. It's always nice when it's you get to see everybody else enjoy what I've been, what we've been playing on for so long. But I think we did a good job showcasing it for you guys. I hope we did anyway. I hope we got you really pumped up and excited for it. And hopefully we got most of the stuff tested. That needed to be tested. It's kind of hard to a big map like this, but all right, guys, heist is up. To be the last heist, and then I'm gonna get off here. So, Last heist, so I'm gonna do some spraying another day, but I think this is where I'm gonna. We gotta spray. Oh, this is canola. Our wheat's all sprayed. We're gonna, we're still gonna have to spray this uh, for fertilizer too, or and say I could do some some uh, banding of fertilizer, but I don't know if I want to. Alright, that's where we're gonna leave that guy for now. Hey Mr. How you doing, man? Uh you probably don't have enough Jagger, but it's a it's a mini game you can uh, join in. You can win extra trailer dollars, which is my currency for my chat and for my stream. So when I have giveaways, um, I'll have tickets, and you can use the in-game trailer dollars to buy tickets. So the more dollars you have, the more tickets you can buy, and the, the better chances you have of uh, winning uh, a giveaway. So it rewards <clears throat> it rewards people that have been here the longest, because they most likely can buy the most tickets. And that's how I want it. The guys that are here the most, I want to reward them. I don't want somebody random coming in and winning stuff. So that's kind of what, uh, kind of what we do here. Just by watching and chatting, man. You just watch and you just say, you know, you guys say like one word like every hour or something, and you'll uh, get trailer dollars. Pretty easy. Clear, Jackson. Large amount of casualties, really? Come on, the heists have been really crappy lately. That's all right, Mike. I mean, if you're a lurker and you don't say much, then you probably don't get a lot of trailer dollars, so. Thunderhowl wins his first heist, damn. It's lucky, that was a not a very, that was a crazy heist, wasn't a very good one. But my plan is, is to put a bunch of these on uh, pallets in the shed. 
I should just get a little building that I store all this in, but I'm trying to make use of what I already have, but like this is gonna be difficult. <clears throat> Should be storing this actually in my other building, my shop, not in a. Uh, well. Yeah. Especially in like the winter time, you wouldn't want to have it in a shed like this that's not really heated. Ooh. I did not put those shelving units out very good, did I? <laughs> I might have to fix those eventually. That's not very good. Did not see that it was that bad. Hey, what are you doing, Matt? What are the rewards? Uh, hey, Ryan. Depending on what I want to give away, I got a lot of merchandise. So, like, hats, mugs. Uh, like, I got this beer koozie here that eventually I'll probably give away. I got, like, a, a tumbler here. It says TP off on it. I got hats, hoodies, stickers, a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Whatever I feel like giving away, I guess. Uh... Hey, up to you doing, man? I have given away, like, I think I gave away four or five Farm Sim 19 copies when the game came out. Jake, or no, that was a DLC. I gave away four, I think, Farm Simulator 19 games. And then I gave away four or five DLCs. Jake gave, Jake was one of those. I can't remember if I, no, I think I only did three and Jake did one. So I'm giving about eight, eight games away so far for 19, so. Yeah. Um, I have some merchandise already in the link down below. I think I have three different sites that you can go check the merchandise on or buy stuff. Uh, the one site that I have a bunch of this stuff on, it's uh, it's not like an actual merch store. Like I can get merch made, but I have to have like an Etsy store or something like that. And I don't want to have those things, so I'm not. Basically, if I want to give that stuff away, I have to offer it myself and then pay for it and then send it to you guys, so I'll have to do that anyway. So I haven't quite figured that out yet, what I want to do with that, but I didn't realize there were so many of these containers. So many. That one didn't really want to get on our forks, but I don't blame. Pretty cool, man. But yeah, I need to get my stores figured out. I got too many stores. People usually have one store, and I have three or four. Like. Not very good. Okay, so the only place we can put it is up top. See, that rack needs to be higher. And I need to, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna space it out more, make it higher, so I can put pallets on the second row and below. I wanna be able to have three, three tiers. So, I'm gonna do that. That'd be a pretty easy, uh, take the one platform from the top, duplicate it, add it to the bottom, make a collision for it. Make the railing a little bit, scale the railing a little bit higher. Yeah, we can make it doable. But, I think that's where I'm going to end it, guys. Christmas? <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a command for Christmas. I want to go watch some TV or do some other stuff, so... Uh, next time we'll finish putting these away. I might have to put some down by the shop. And uh, this guy shouldn't be parked here. It's kind of silly right in the middle of the road, but my bad. I got some spring to finish. And we'll have to go check the John Deere farm. We probably have some spring over there to do. And yeah, a little bit of that. Mind you, I forgot I pulled all this stuff out. I should put that back. This thing's been running the whole time, costing me money. 
God damn. Versatile oh, over there. This old girl back in. All right, John John, see you later, man. I'm going to be done here anyway, so you're not going to miss much. So, Yeah, we got a couple of nice versatiles in here and case. And the grain farm is more like case on this side, and then the feedlot is, well, they're fenced, but they got some case over there as well. So and We got our newer versatile over there. Uh, feed a lot. All our cattle are fed. The manure is picking up, which is good. We'll eventually go in there and get the manure out, which will be nice. But yeah, these guys are more fent. A thousand series fent. NFGs, Magnum. Although I got a smaller loader that doesn't fit his tractor on there, but... Oh well. What do we have around the other side, I think? Oh yeah, another Fent. 900. 930, I believe. Got some water tanks in the front just for an extra weight. Yeah. Don't got a whole lot on the feedlot side over here, but we're making do, right? So. Nice setups for the feedlot anyway. And as soon as this corn grows, we will be filling up the bunk. And I will be packing silage with the Versatile. And I think we're going to have to rent a John Deere chopper. I've seen there's one that's UDM'd. And yeah, so we'll probably rent the John Deere chopper. We won't own it, but we'll rent it. Because we, we only got a little bit of corn here to do. So this will still give us a pretty good uh, pretty good amount in our silage pit, I would think. If not, I'll have to maybe plant some more corn. But That's going to be it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys all have a good rest of your Monday night. And hopefully we'll see uh, tomorrow. See you, Thieves. No farm sim. But if you're sticking around and you want free trailer dollars, and by all means, come by. Get some extra dollars for those contests. Or for the giveaways when I, when I have one again. And, uh, oh yeah, we'll definitely be breaking out the Artex for silage for sure. Especially with the high walls. So, we gotta use random Artex for that. But... Uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one and uh, take care.